This is a story about Uncle Jim's dairy farm and the summer we spent there. Here are Andy and Jane who live on the farm. Although they often play here, they're watching the road for a special reason today. Because they're expecting someone. Here they come! I can see the car! Yes, they're expecting guests from the city. Uncle Fred and Aunt Alice and cousins George and Betty to visit them. And this is a special visit. After Uncle Fred and Aunt Alice return to the city, George and Betty are going to spend the summer with Jane and Andy on the farm. First into the house to get settled. Now Andy and Jane show their city cousins the farm. Let's start with the cow barn. It's an interesting place. The cow barn is clean and airy. Here's big brother Bill putting the feed in for the cows. Bill, what is this the cows eat? This is a special mixture of ground grain for cows. They eat grass, hay, and silage too. Cows need good food to give you the milk you like so well, George. Uncle Jim is getting the cows ready for milking. Do you wash the cows? Sure. They must keep them clean. You see, clean, healthful milk comes only from clean, healthy cows. They must have good food, plenty of clean, fresh water, and a clean, comfortable place to live. Animals are like you. They need good food, a nice, clean, comfortable place to live in order to grow up and stay strong and healthy. Bill, I'll finish up in here. Throw some hay down to the cows, will you? Okay, Dad. Come on, gang, let's go. Come on, Chip, let's play follow the leader. Oh, 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 my, this is awesome. When you do this, hang on tight or you'll skin your hand. Okay, I'll be there, I'll be careful. you can do. Like feeding the animals. That's what I'm going to do now. You want to help? Oh boy, can we? Sure. And soon you'll be big enough to do it all by yourself. Come on, let's go. Oh, here's the new calf and its mother. It's only two days old, but it knows where to find its dinner. Andy will feed the calf when it is big enough to drink milk from a pail and eat other foods. The cow which has grown up eats grain, grass, silage and hay to help her in making milk. She drinks lots of clean water. We all need good food to grow and stay healthy. But we better get on with the feeding. First, Jane wants to show Betty the baby lamb Piggy, 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 suey, piggy, 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 piggy,
baby pigs are hungry. Perhaps that's why their manners aren't good. Baby pigs eat a mixture of milk and ground grains. When they grow big enough, they also eat corn and other kinds of feed grown-up pigs eat. Pigs must have clean and comfortable houses and yards and room to play. Chickens, too, have a clean place to live. They eat grains and milk mixed with other feed. Betty and Jane love to feed the baby chicks. It's Andy's job to feed the puppies. They're strong and healthy and happy. He feeds them well, and they play and sleep. Jane's kittens do, too. This one wants to go down and join the others at the pan of milk. There's the supper bell. The children wash quickly because they're hungry. Aunt Helen is a very good cook. Mmm, look at all the good things to eat. We all know that good food helps us grow bigger and stronger to be able to do more things and have more fun. Jane is finishing her milk. She wants more but she remembers to pour another glass first for Betty. The children get ready for bed. They're very sleepy. This is the way the summer went, with fun and play and work. The children helped with the chores, took care of Andy's calf, and helped Aunt Helen. They had good things to eat. They grew bigger and stronger. They worked and played in the fields and learned interesting things. Early in the summer, the corn was only as high as George's knee. But now, near the end of summer, the corn is taller than George. Corn grows fast. Andy's calf is bigger. See how the lambs have grown. And the pigs really aren't babies anymore. The little chicks are grown. Now the summer is over. It's time for George and Betty to return to the city. They've had a fine time, and they've grown. Father is proud. He can hardly believe that George is so strong. Betty has grown, too. I drink milk at every meal now, Mother. George, Betty, Jane, and Andy have had a fine time, and they've grown. They've had play in the sunshine, good sleep, and plenty of milk and other good food. 